Hello, viewers. This is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Wild Arms 2. Well, last time we uh, defeated Grosswing. And we got our next mission objective. Oh, and um, the power of love triumphs over all. So, now we can head to the Sleeping Volcano. You have, you should have already seen the Sleeping Volcano, although you didn't go in it. But, um, I got a comment, you know, asking me how to get there, so... Here's how you get to the Sleeping Volcano. You want to teleport to Sibylin Castle. It's not the most intuitive place to go to, because you actually have to go back to the Live Reflector. Oh, and by the way, this is the first episode that will go past the 11 minute limit. We want to go to Dragon's Vein. If it's not called Dragon's Vein for nothing. I. Speaking of that, well, why do they call it Dragon's Vein? I mean, you think somebody would have been like, hmm, I wonder if there's a dragon there. And I've found the damn thing. Apparently someone did because Irving knew about it. And decided it wasn't worth telling us about it. Because clearly having a flying dragon wouldn't have helped against... Oh, the Varukisas and Heimdall Gazo. Forget decloaking it. Just have a dragon breathe fire breath all over the place. Ah, whatever. Let's just keep going. Headset. They always have a problem fitting on my face for some reason. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah. Well, that's the volcano. And see, there's the Rayline Observatory somewhere over there. But we're not going there. Today, we're going over here. And here is the Sleeping Volcano. All good games should have a volcano area. Well, at least I think they should. <laughs> Gotta have a lava area. Uh, one second, please. All right, let's keep going. I'm just checking my notes there and fixing my headset. Um, this Sleeping Volcano Somewhat annoying, actually. We want to exit to the north. Pretty uh, confusing area, actually. Uh, that's a dead end. I know generally where to go, though. If there's one area I wanted to map for, it'd be this one. Ah. Yeah. Steam is flammable. You know, I want to finish this game today, but there's no way in hell that's happening. There should be something in this room. Oh, yeah. Now, if you walk on the lava... Yeah, that happens. So don't do that. Instead, get in a random encounter. There's a salamander... Nope, they're... I'm gonna assume that's a mistranslation for Great Mantis. So these guys are weak to freeze and water. Oh, yeah, we should have Tim in here. Um, Ashley... Yeah, we'll use Ashley, why not? Did I reset my equipment? No, I did not. We'll do that real quick. I can remember what I had. What did he have? Elven boots. There we go. Alright. Attack. They are weak to freeze. Um, water also works on them, so... Either one. 
Doesn't really matter. That's some damage. Of course, Ashley will just kill him. Oh, yeah. Um, one enemy that is really interesting here is the... What's it called? The Dentobrium? They're weak to fire, oddly enough. I don't know why. Right, we don't want to enter there. We want to go up here. Get your kick boots ready. Kick it right... Oh, kick it right open. Get a mini scud arm for Brad. It's almost entirely useless. Actually, it probably is useless because you have the railgun. Why they give this to you, I don't know. You tell me, viewers. You tell me. Whatever. Alright, now we want to head to the south. Sorry, I'm trying not to get confused in this area. Should be... Is it through here? Ow. Alright, we got a moon pen. That is a better piece of armor for Loka. I was looking for that. Better piece of headgear. We'll take it. I think that's one of the best headgears in the game for her. Not the best, but it's up there. And, yeah, you really can't avoid this much. And I think I made one mistake here. So let's head back here. I really don't care about the lava that much. It doesn't do much damage. How much does it do, anyway? About 100. I don't really care. At least it's not de dealing one damage, but whatever. Yeah, we want to, uh, to do this. You have to do that or you will not be able to progress. Anything else we have to do? I don't think so. I always forget to do that, and I don't know why. Then again, it's probably my fault for not having, um, as significant notes that I usually have in my Let's Plays. Well... I started taking ridiculous amounts of notes for Kale to the Abyss, and that's why I feel like I'm so much more prepared for that game. I've been doing the same for Wild Ops 3. I've been playing it almost every day. I'll probably post up a trailer. Probably do that for all my Let's Plays now. Well, all the future ones anyway. Ah, Salamanders. Guess what they're weak to? You said freezing water? You're right! Oh, by the way, they, uh, they don't kid around. They're fast. Oh, and, um, they kill themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I got nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's in my notes that they kill themselves, so don't even worry about them. They'll just, almost every time, they'll just instantly kill themselves. I don't know why. I can't take it anymore! No, 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 not quite. Ah, save point. Might as well use it. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, crap. Yeah, yeah. The game um, plays a dirty trick on you. Okay, let's keep going. Oh boy! Here they are. These guys are tough. Again, they're weak to fire. I guess the giant plant in them. I don't know. I don't know why they're weak to fire, but... They are! 
crap. Um, that's probably going to deal a lot of damage. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all. I think they have some, like, tackless attack or megaton attack or something that deals a lot of damage to one character. Oh, and they have a lot of HP. There we go. Got him. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Was that all that was up here? Seriously? Just fatality gems? Whatever game. I guess I'll take it. I'll get those. I don't know why. Wait, those aren't called Vitality Gems in this game, are they? I could use the Rad Blades to get across those, but I don't really care. Yeah, we have to go up that bridge. Why didn't there seem to be anything up there? There should be something to shoot up here. I thought there should be. Oh, there's a door here. I knew we had to go up here. Yeah, losing it today. Right. You have to do that or you will not be able to progress. That would have pissed me off. Now you can jump down. You want to exit through the south. I thought we wanted to exit through the south. Is there anything else over here? I guess we want to exit this way. that battle I don't really care at all I hate this area okay let's keep going now I want to just keep going hopefully this is right okay I hear him in here there's one Four or five. There should be a mega. There's the mega berry. How do I get to it? Come on, I just want to get this chest. There it is. All right. Next time we'll look for this dragon. But will it help us? And if it doesn't, can we defeat it? And why didn't Irving tell us about this earlier? What the hell is wrong with him? Did he not just break his leg but suffer extreme mental damage? Or did he suffer plot convenience? Find out next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.